All right. Hello there, everybody, and welcome, welcome to another live stream. Can't see back too much. All right. So I'm excited. I'm I'm stoked because we're here with Sea of Stars, and we're in the uh, totally not evil Clockwork Castle thing where we ran into a bunch of children who were actually really old, but very good. Um, but yeah, very, very fun stuff. So hope that everybody had a good uh, good week, good few days. I know my, uh, all my stuff, I've been so busy lately. Like, holy free hold, it's been crazy. Uh, I am legit just so excited that it is the, the beginning of the weekend, or just the weekend in general, I should say. So I'm excited to be here. I hope that you all are excited to see all of the cool stuffs that we got going on. You know. What is that? Just retracted the bridge. I feel like that should have done something. Um, but yeah, uh, been been a busy time, but good time type of thing. So I don't know. It's it's one of those weird things where it's like I feel I feel good about the fact that I did a bunch of stuff. Like I got things done, but at the same time, I'm sad about having so much to do. Either way, I hope that. I hope that you all have, if not fun plans for the weekend, then kind of nothing going on for the weekend. Because having a nothing day is really fun. I'm just, I'm, I'm just kind of guesstimating on exactly what I'm doing here. I have legitimately no. But so far, it seems like I'm doing okay on my guess. Well, that's... <laughs> wow, that was a lot of damage. It's so nice when you remember how to play a game after not playing for a while. Such a good feeling. Oh, so apparently that's what it's supposed to be because I heard the little blue thing. <laughs> Go me for doing stuff. Yay! Yeah, I totally knew exactly what was going on there. I'm very smart. Um, obviously. It's not obvious how amazing and smart I am. Okay. This has definitely been an interesting level for this game. Trying to figure out all of the mechanically inclined puzzles. It's been interesting to be sure. Little treasure chest better be worth something here. Very upset. Ooh, new cooking. Oh dang. I wonder with this game, because when you when you level up in this game, 
the whole shtick is that you pick some particular uh, some particular new uh, updated what's it called uh, stat for each character and it's pretty cool but at the same time your equipment does so much to help you with that stuff I don't understand why you wouldn't strictly rely on that seems odd but what do I know? Now, these things are like super vulnerable to stuff although I need to stop using so many attacks like this for anybody who's unfamiliar, one of the shticks with this game, this is a relatively standard RPG. Uh, and everybody has their own, uh, what's it called, amount of uh, MP to do skill attacks. And the way that you get it back is either through items or by attacking normal, like doing physical things. The thing is that... Uh, if you don't do enough physical attacks, then you won't be able to uh, heal up enough. You won't be able to use your skills. So, that's what I need to... Okay, so that's what I need to do. So these little rainbow coral things are, or rainbow comps, just freaking weird. I I now know who actually collects them, which is very helpful, but I don't have any information about what they are, where they're from, what their original purpose was, if any. Nothing. Really frustrating. I know it's a dumb thing to be frustrated about, but still. Important thing is that we can go and get this one. Hooray! Woot! Um. idea if I'm actually supposed to be doing this or if any of this makes a difference. I'm just kind of going with the flow of what I can see. <laughs> there are definitely worse things for me to do. All oh, right, we're going Sailor Moon on this mofo. Interesting, I joke in this game about, uh, oh, haste, classic. Uh, I joke in this game about the really obvious influences of other games and franchises and all sorts of different stuff like that, but it's really not a bad thing. And it's interesting because my, uh, my wife is reading uh, a, I think new I think it's been around for a while, but she's reading uh, a new book series, new to her, that's kind of interesting in that uh, it's super blatantly obvious that there's a lot of, not, not even references, but a lot of uh, kind of direct, uh, direct... Uh, like concepts taken from other 
stories and books and things. Like you see really obvious um, aspects that are taken from like Divergent, Hunger Games, Harry Potter, all sorts of different stuff. Um, and that's not a bad thing, but according to her at least, it tends to it tends to read as derivative. Now, she hasn't read Divergent, but based off of the description she gave, I was, I was familiar with it. Now, at the same time, obviously, these are all, like, YA novels. So it's like, why, why does it even matter? Who cares? Whatever. I'm allowed to like that stuff. You leave me alone. Leave me to my happy place. Ah, oh, yes, the watchmaker. He lives up at the top of the tower. Or she? I can't tell. What does that mean? Oh, lord, that would be so annoying. It is peculiar indeed. It, it is peculiar. It's good to point out. <laughs> wow. Fart on it. So this game has this uh, this mini game inside that they call Wheels. It it feels like it's trying to be Gwent from the Witcher series. I personally don't find it to be as compelling as Gwent, uh, but it doesn't really mean much. Let me think. Where where else have we seen mini? I guess in um. Uh, in Final Fantasy X, we had Blitzball. Blitzball was freaking awesome. I remember playing Blitzball for hours. Well, and then Final Fantasy VII, you have Chocobo Racing. That was awesome. Right, we basically got like a gun that focuses uh, uh, the energy of the eclipse. It's insane. Eclipse magic can be catalyzed. Excellent. All right, here we go. Nice save, right? 90% sure. Oh, good. Auto save. Gotta love a game that pities you enough to auto save. Holy free holies, that's a giant pulsating mass. Oh, the Dweller of Strife. We're taking it down! Dude! <laughs> they just casually walk by. Doop a doop a doop! Da 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 da! Oh, this is bad. Um, I mean, we can use the Moonerang to get rid of at least most of these, but I don't think I can get rid of all of them. Yeah. 
at least did something, but... Chuck a giant piece of floor at me? That was rude. This is kind of reminiscent of the Axum Rangers. A Mario RPG. Such an amazing. Game. You know, I say it a whole bunch, but it is my favorite game of all time. Truly. most of our time in Okay, so let's do the moon ring thing again, because this time we'll be able to actually stop. How you doing? Whoa, wait, what? Did homie just counterattack me? What the fudge? That was redonkulous. Hey, hey, Mathewin. How you doing? Cool, I got one. Oh, neat. It's very dangerous here, Mayhuin. Yeah, lucky. I earned fifty thousand grams of points. 
I, I don't believe so. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen his ult. Wait, what? He just he straight up turns into an eagle and drops a bunch of bombs. Uh, um, okay, I guess. That was really weird. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, Garl. You're basically all magic. So. See, that's what I was talking about. You get to pick some extra bonus stuff. Gah! Uh oh. Oh, bugger. <laughs> they just stand there. <laughs> what else? It's okay. We have a friend who like did some stuff. It's really we like we we got this little kid who made stuff and it's super fancy and awesome. Our face. Everybody likes our face. Parfait may be the best thing of the whole and Oh, Shrek. Will you ever be born? No. No is the correct answer. Uh, ew, the solstice amulet's tingling. Gross. So see, we can force an eclipse, which improves our power, because our whole shtick is we've got the moon and the sun magic, and it's totally not a Sailor Moon ripoff whatsoever. And also, we can apparently crystallize that magic and make things awesome. It's so convenient that they left some uh, some mechanism for me to climb around. Very helpful. So appreciated. Isn't always nice when buildings and bridges and whatnot collapse in such ways. Wait, you're actually selling stuff here? Why are you selling stuff here, dude? It's freaking weird. The entire building is collapsing around me, but so help me, I will tend my store. <laughs> I will sell my wares. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we got this big zapper machine thing that the children made. Very old children. So we fight. It is true, somebody has to sell the wares. I'm not denying it. So I'm kind of confused because this guy, the Dweller of Strife, has been touted throughout the entire game as like this is this is the biggest, baddest mofo that you ever have to deal with. Well, we know. He said that he wasn't going to interfere. We knew this. But it's it's just odd, because I feel like we're not ready for a conclusion just yet. 
so that kind of worries me more than anything. I mean, I guess we'll see. Holy free holies! That was a lot of damage. Imagine that this is going to help me with a little magical. Yeah. Because this should give us some magic. Hey, seriously, how much does this stupid thing have to charge? Holy <laughs> Did you just run into the wall? I got at least two off of that. can't see. Dumb. 
Hmm. Uh, come back to me. I'll think of something. See how much damage this does. Shooting with the cannons from the, from the boat. Oh, ow. Oh, man. So I'm poking myself in the shoulder, right? Holy free holies. You know, we get shots, right? Like, we have flu shots, COVID shots, all these things, which are IM, intramuscular. They hurt. <laughs> it does five damage. Um, so, so these shots hurt, right? But yesterday, I got a cortisone shot, and it had to be given inside of my joint. That sucked. That was absolutely horrible. It was so unpleasant. It was just awful. The good news is that it helped. Sort of. Seriously, this is annoying. Oh, see, that counts as magic, too. Hey. So, literally, just any magic I use counts. Here we go. To the window! To the wall! <laughs> Come on! This is so ridiculous! What is it doing? Is it trying to like collapse the tower or something? Is that a yes? I honestly can't tell. What was. Oh, I guess. Oh, he's just sitting there! He's like, whatever. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, me is just like, whatever. Okay, how am. How am I supposed to do anything here? Like, without the big giant crystal thing, I can't really do much. That was literally the entire point of what they were telling us. Oh, Rashan. So his whole thing is that he's supposed to simply be an observer, so he's not going to help with these big things. See? Rules. We've been nothing but nice. <laughs> Yes, Garl, because that's what it is. Oh, dang! You fool! Okay, now we're in trouble. Oh, no. His meaning the dweller of strife? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Somebody else is coming for a visit. WTAF. So somebody else who was supposed to be just an observer but was like, yo, you started it.
tentacle. Thought we had a deal. Oh, that's right. They used to be partners. Uh-huh. Stupid vile time. Homie, you had one job. One job. Keep it away. Broke our promise. Not cool. Oh, seriously? You're going to teleport like 10 feet? That's just lazy. <laughs> That's a good question. So that's the shtick with this castle, is as long as you stay inside, time doesn't pass for you. Don't age. Sacrifice and dedication, too! The vampire rose. <laughs> Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? You're an angel. Come on. That's a big enough. Great. Come on. Yay! You're commended. Ugh. Yeah, that was us. We did the blood. Sorry about that. Oh, never mind. Traitors! Treacherous traitors of treachery! Oh! Oh, oh! Yeah, see the guy? He's, he's alternative and like, whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She good. Uh. Uh -huh. True. Uh, aren't they already serving for all eternity with this? Vampire Rose shtick or whatever. Did he just put the Dweller of Strife in a pocket dimension? Oh, oh gross. I don't want to be merged with the Dweller of Strife. That sounds disgusting. So one of the shticks with these things is that time passes differently, and so a hundred years goes by in like a second or less type of deal. And so that's kind of the, the whole thing here. A proper sidekick. I'm gonna use her as a sidekick. Hey, please. Um, that's different from forgetting. <laughs> we don't want to talk to you or your stupid whatevers. Time to go. Get out. Go. Oh. 
See, this feels an awful lot like the whole be careful what you wish for thing. To feel adequate and fit for my role. Is he a millennial? I feel like he's a millennial with really bad imposter syndrome. <laughs> it's like, he's perfectly adequate. He's, he's, he's totally fine as things stand. But it's like, no, he just, he, he wants to feel adequate and feel like he's doing what he's supposed to. The fastest there's ever been? When he's gonna turn into the Flash? A fudge. See, you're getting a new form and a new name, too. So fancy. Power overwhelming. Of course. Always want the power. Haven't these people watched any movies or, like, read a book? Absolute power corrupts absolutely. This is well known. Okay, dude, that was, like, two feet. That's even worse. Oh, Rashan. Uh. Oh, Garl, not a smart thing to say. He's gonna lose his other eye now. time. I think we froze time. Oh! Clearly it's not impossible. Oh. Infinitely short recursive is this math? What the fudge? I don't play video games to do math. Quit bopping the crystals, dude. understand it. This is the first time you're seeing any of this. Okay, so they're frenemies? Like, what the fudge? I mean, they used to be partners, so that's the shtick, right? But then they, they, they went their separate ways because one of them is called the Fleshmancer, so obviously he has to be the bad guy. And the other one is called the Alchemist, so he has to be the good guy. Yeah, see, pain and suffering. Flesh answer. Obviously. <laughs> Please give me the lecture again. <laughs> I like a couple of kids. That's great. Good question. It is true, they are not. Oh. <laughs> slap on the wrist again. You took over an entire species. Ah! <laughs> You're suffering. What are you suffering? Ooh, drag 
again. Oh, there we go, the Sea of Stars! We finally heard the name of the game. Not that Final Fantasy ever says Final Fantasy. Whatever. Oh, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> yes, you are the bad guy. You're called the Flesh Fancer. This all turns to good. <laughs> See, this is the interesting thing about having effectively all powerful beings as part of the stick of whatever's going on. They're doing a whole other thing that is completely removed from what we've got going on. But we can't do nothing about it. Nor do we have any intention of stopping. Garl! Poor Garl. No! No! Carl! Oh, please tell me that his, his like, innate magic awakens or something like that. Right? I mean, it has to, because he's Garl. He has food magic! Oh, are we gonna, like, infuse him or something? Hey, there's the Elder Mist. We never heard what the prophecies were. So one of the shticks was we got prophecies from these elders that said we were going to do something, get something, be something, all of this sort of shtick. So maybe now we get to do that. Oh, wait, he is? He's going to die. No. Oh, is Elder Mist going to have him, like, reborn in something magical? Please tell me he gets to be an avatar. Can I teleport now? Oh, oh, close enough. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Where the spot? You know, when you telegraph your attacks like that, it's really obvious. <laughs> I love it. I love when bad guys do that. It's like, yeah, sure, come and get me. I don't care. Whatevs. That's what we're here for. So she... Well, what about these two? Yeah, obviously, you just turn into a bird. Yeah, I'll be duh. Because, duh. Get freaking weird. Okay, Garl has to awaken his inner magic or something now, right? Aw, Garl. I feel so bad for thinking that Garl was a bad guy. I mean, he lost an eye. Oh, God. I never understood the whole shtick of try not to talk. Like, what, what is talking going to do that your body shutting down isn't already doing? Like, save your strength. What strength? How is it going to help? Homie got blasted by arcane energy. Yeah, probably pretty far away. I'm 
also getting kind of Chrono Trigger vibes with the whole time dilation issue. Hey, there's the Elder Mist. Sup, homie? Okay, I told you he's gonna awaken his his innate magic thing, stick, whatever, do he? Telling you this, what's gonna happen? Wait, those are statues like staring at the water. That's the sky. What the fudge? Counterfeit points. Oh. So, Rev, how was SmackDown? You gotta talk quick because I need to get going. Yeah, there it goes. A side effect of borrowed time? I mean, it is called borrowed time, not new time. Oh, wrestling's been wild? See, I, I don't know, because I, I don't follow wrestling. All I know is that Taylor Swift is obviously after what's-his-name's money. She's clearly a gold digger. Because he got money for making it to the Super Bowl. Wait, The Rock showed up? What the fudge? How and why did The Rock show up? He's doing other stuff now, isn't he? I want to make the most of it. Well, let's go play some mini games and do side quests. Anything other than st so I can't do side quests? What the fudge? Aww. It's not really an option here. You go and die. <laughs> it is true, allegedly. Oh, he's on the board of the thing. That's crazy. See, now I might have to, like, read about it. But well, we gotta finish up the cinematic here. Because I need to save so I can get going. People need to finish up. <laughs> Don't know. Wow, 
four days of a trending hashtag? That's insane. Yeet can get. Oh, man, come on. Uh. I think I can save. There we go. We'll save here and then I'll deal with it later. So I should be able to be here next Wednesday, but uh, a week from today, next Saturday, I'm going to be busy, so I won't be able to. But hopefully you all have a good week and a fun time. So just be good, be well, be happy, and I, I guess we all have to go read more about The Rock and his antics. But either way, you all take care of yourselves, have fun, and bye-bye.